morning, YouTube friends and family. Uh, let's see, it's 11 a.m., a little late start to the day. I uh, want to show you something and where I'm at here. I remounted the uh, meter uh, panel here. It's been right here all the time, and when I'm sitting there looking up, I can't see from the angle. So I moved it to here, and as you can see right now, sitting at 13.4 volts, still bringing in 20.9 amps of solar. That's with the panels flat on the roof, not even tilted here in April in Cal I'm not in California, I'm in Oregon still. Uh, let me show you this awesome free spot that I am at right here. Look out my door, look at the ravine down there. If we just walk a little bit past these rocks right here. So for reference, there's my RV, that's Highway 101 right there. And if we pan over here, let me see. There's the view. Can you believe it? It's amazing out here. You don't got to pay a lot. You, you just got to pay attention. There's spots like these all over. And I'll put the GPS coordinates of this little gem that I found off the highway in the video description below. If you click show more, you'll, you'll get those GPS coordinates. It's simply beautiful. And I'm going to pop the drone up and get some good shots. But I want to show you something uh, inside the RV here real quick. So I said goodbye to uh, Jax Austin. Uh, he was the one in the uh, yellow schoolie bus uh, yesterday. And on my way out, he did something very, very amazing. And this is worth sharing with you guys. Um, he has a DJI Phantom 3 Professional that he crashed and uh, ruined. But he asked me if I'd like to have it for parts because I have the uh, 3 standard. And he gave me this awesome backpack carry case for it that holds the drone. Uh, some extra propellers, a new charger, and most importantly of all, three more Phantom batteries. I mean, I literally cannot thank him enough. That is going to make flying the drone so much easier. I've had one battery for the last four months. So uh, having four batteries in the backpack to carry it on trips, I think it'll add a really neat perspective. So thank you so much, Jax Austin. Uh, you rock, dude. I will make the most of it. I really appreciate it, and I hope to pay it forward to you, buddy. Uh, in the meantime, let's pop my drone up and get some shots of this neat spot. sun out and the scenery seems to improved even when you go through these small towns. It's really nice the palm tree right there. I feel like we're a little far north for palms. But I am gonna make up some miles today. So haven't been doing my promised 38 miles a day so today I may end up putting on close to a hundred or to 125 miles today. We'll see. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep overnight, but we'll plan that out first. First, I got a, I'm meeting a, a viewer here in uh, Reed Sport, so I'm gonna go have lunch. That happens a lot. Facebook Messenger on my nomadicfanatic.tv page works really well to uh, connect to viewers when I'm coming through their town, so. Go meet up for lunch here, and then uh, I'll get back on the road. So I'm going to follow uh, Ben here. He's from the uh, Reed Sport area, and uh, he may have a tip on uh, getting to see some wildlife around here, which is another reason why I love meeting viewers on the road, because you can see stuff that you just weren't planning on seeing or that you didn't even know existed, because oftentimes I end up leaving or something, and people are like, man, you missed this. Well, I didn't know about it. Uh, there wasn't a sign. There wasn't. There's just no way of knowing. So um, go see what we can find out here. Oh my gosh, there's a herd of elk out there. I was super excited. I have never seen elk in the wild before ever in my life along my travels. So I am super excited. I'm gonna have to get 
the other lens on the camera though to zoom in. So cool, uh, Ben dropped me off over here at the uh, Dean Creek Wildlife Viewing Area. Uh, we're going to be looking at Roosevelt Elk and uh, yeah, neat little place they have here. This is the interpretive center here. And uh, you can see a lady taking some pictures right there. Off into the field there are some elk. So that right there is as much as I can zoom in uh, out into the field. It's like they're just chilling out there. Pretty neat. So the Roosevelt elk is the largest land animal in Oregon. You know, it's too bad it can't quite get out there far enough, but I looked at all the rules uh, that are posted here at Dean Creek, and nowhere does it say that drones are not allowed. So I'm going to carefully pop the drone up, and I'm going to take you guys closer over to the elk herd. You gotta love this paint on the road. It says Ocean View. Oh, okay. That could be cool. Could be awesome. Wow. Look at that view. Hey everybody, I'm putting this little fuzzy windscreen to the test here in my little parking spot. Can you guys believe this? The sign behind me says uh, $10 a night. Look at that view though. Is that crazy or what? It's, it's incredibly windy, I will say that. Getting lots of sun. And uh, I'm in the city of Port Orford, Offord, uh, Oregon here. I uh, just kind of pulled into this little gravel lot, and as you can see by this sign, it says overnight parking, $10. And then this, the uh, pay slot, uh, it says pay slot. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they really want people to just leave $10 in there <laughs> um, on the back of it. Um, it's open, so... Yeah, um, I would strongly recommend you not put a $10 bill right here or in there open. Somebody's just going to take it. Uh, but I've been in these circumstances before. I've been to like parks where it's a self-registration process and they're out of forms or something. And uh, what I usually just do is put a note up on my dash and say, uh, tried to pay, ready to pay. Uh, please let me know how to pay, basically. That way they know you're not trying to skirt the system or something. Uh, I'm just hanging out here for the rest of the day, maybe for about three hours until the sun sets here, and then I'm going to go try to find some uh, free boondocking. But it's just a fantastic little spot here. Life is what you make of it. Whether you think you are or you think you aren't, you are in control of your own life. I say this from experience. If you want something bad enough, 
you'll make it happen. Nobody will hand you your dreams with a bow on top. You have to take the leap and put your own dreams into motion. You'll fail. You'll learn. You'll smile. You'll cry. You'll be rewarded. You'll be critiqued. You'll fall. And you'll rise. Do what makes you appreciate this one life you have to live. This one chance to make it all it's worth. Quit delaying or making up excuses. You are the one with the control to do what you want. Do it. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.